Hey, magistrate judges, it's very simple. Oftentimes in federal court cases, when the judges are assigned to a specific case, each judge normally has a magistrate judge that works under him. Like a sheriff would have an undersheriff and a second in command. Well, the same thing applies with federal judiciary. But the good part is the concept of superior respondent or the maxim whereby the superior responds always supersedes. In this case, the one you really need to be dealing with is the, the judge. Even though we know they're all just acting nonetheless. And in truth, a magistrate judge and a judge, when you really begin to look at the duties and the actual aspect of it, there's really no difference. But nonetheless, from what I've experienced, the, the magistrate judges, they push them towards you because the magistrate judge is usually the way they deal with things is kind of different than the other acting judge but nonetheless in order for a magist magistrate judge to hear a case you have to consent to it most people do not know in some court cases, and of course this is federal jurisdiction, in some cases you will find that the magistrate judge just actually comes in and just indicate the matter. Other cases, they'll give you a notice that if you want, you can consent or not. Other cases, they will literally send you this form. But they don't expect them to do this. Usually, when I see the judge or the magistrate judge, I just address the judge directly and just put the judge's name in the case heading and just ignore the magistrate judge. Why? Well, because in order for a magistrate judge to act as the alleged neutral third party to the matter, they need your consent. And here's a consent form. Everything you need to know regarding why this consent form exists is on its face. Right there. The rule 73 and the codified version in the United States Code of Statutes, 28 U.S.C. Subsection 636C. Nonetheless, what all these says is that in any case where you have a magistrate judge who might assist the judge to reduce the workload and whatever reason, you still need to accept to enter into that contract with them to acknowledge them as a party that's a judge in the proceeding. Bottom line, magistrate judges need your consent to hear a case. A case can go on for months after months after months. If this case, if this form is not filled out, that magistrate judge is acting up, this can be affirmative defense against that. And everything that he or she has done up to that point is annulled. The court because according to their own, whatever you want to call it, they need your consent. The magistrate judge needs your consent to act as a neutral third party. And even then, so-called regular judge needs your consent for the order to be valid because everything is open to objections. In denial and affirmative defense. If not, the due process is being abrogated upon.
Magistrate Judges just comes forth right from the bat, right from the start, and asks for your permission. Sometimes they don't. They just go on regularly. Especially people that deal with foreclosures and things like that. Or other matters whereby they do indictments behind your back and you don't know anything about it. And all of a sudden all you see is an arrest warrant, even though in some states, depending on the circumstance, there's, they say you don't need to be present. That's still open to constitutional challenge, but nonetheless. Oftentimes they will do a lot of things that are unconstitutional. And you'll find that a magistrate judge is the one doing it. Whatever they've done up to that point, here's another angle you can come at them. If you've yet to consent to this form to, to this magistrate judge by way of your own document that mimics the foundational principle of this form or by you just filling out this form, then know that that shit is dead. Magistrate judges need your consent to hear a case. 